It's been awesome. So rest assured, next year you're going to have, it's going to be 13 more amazingly powerful episodes coming down the pipes. And like, every single person, their journey is so different. And with everything that they go through, but um, incredible lessons to be learned as well. Now, ultimately what I want to talk to you guys about today is um, this transformation. Now, I know some of you might have come here thinking that I'm going to be giving you tips on diet and exercise. And if that's what you're expecting, I apologize because that's not what I'm going to be delivering. Um, because I really, I don't think you can do really any adjustments. And, and the reason being is that you can do a Google search. You can find you know, a thousand different the actual diets out there that work. I mean, anytime you're in a county deficit, the human body is going to lose weight. But what I want to talk to you guys about is transformation because you know, you guys tune in either it's a Sunday night or a Tuesday night, and you see these individuals that, that we work with, and you see them lose, you know, 250 pounds in a year. And you see these ordinary people who are in such a dark place at one time, you see them do extraordinary things. And it has nothing to do with diet and exercise. And this is actually what, what our message is, and it's, it's funny because when you watch the show, Granted, you'll see the kettlebell swinging, you see people slamming ropes and they're crying and sweat pouring off of them. But I want to share with you guys all the magic that happens behind that. And this is like the true, the true method of transformation. This is how it's the most beautiful thing in the world because this is how anybody, no matter what your goal is, like this is how ordinary people do extraordinary things. And um, so, you know, I found myself. You know, 10 years ago, I, I got my degree in exercise science and physiology. And, you know, at the time, you heard about it in the news, here and there, about the rising trends in obesity. And then, obviously, now it's all over the place because it truly is a pandemic. But, you know, the one thing that I realized is that there are millions upon millions of people who are struggling with, with their weight, but everybody is looking in the wrong place. And, and this is why it's so important for me to share with you the secret. Because everybody's looking over here, like they're, they're all walking in this one direction. And that has nothing to do with how we truly change. The, the true answer for it is, is over here. And that's what I'm going to give you guys tonight, is, is the, the secret to, to how we do what we do. And when I say we, um, my wife and I were an amazing team. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our journey and, and what we've been through together and how we got to where we're at. Because it, it really is um, it's very relevant to how we're able to help these other people change their lives. So let's just talk about the, the raw statistics of it. And it's really, you know, like it's, it's necessary to, to, to cover this very briefly. You know, and this is what most people would really expect from the presentation. That I can come in here and say, look, Three out of four of us are actually suffering from being either over, overweight or obese. Seventy-four percent of Americans are struggling with some aspect of this. If you actually want to break it down into the numbers, thirty-four percent of us are overweight, thirty-four percent are obese, and six percent are morbidly obese. So if we actually like just took this room and like slice the cross-sectional aspect of America, we can say that easily three quarters of you are struggling somehow. So that's the majority. So we can, we can ask all these questions as to why, how did we get here, but most importantly, I mean, which is, which is very important that, that we do handle that aspect of it, but how do we get out of this? And, and how do we change our own lives? And how do we, how, how can we possibly get to change um, other people's lives as well? And while these numbers are staggering, the ones that, that really hit home for, for both myself and, and my wife and for my family, that, you know, 12 million children in the United States are considered obese, not just overweight, but that's, that's just the aspect of the, the, the category that's truly obese. And so, and while we see these numbers and these statistics, and it, it seems really daunting, the thing is, the fact that they're, they're struggling with being overweight, that's not the worst part about obesity. And so, I would just want to share with you, from my experience, the worst part about it, because I like, granted, the inevitable future for these 12 million children, and, and of course, the, the millions upon that that are overweight and heading towards that direction of being obese is, of course, heart disease, diabetes, and strokes, all these different forms of cancers. And, and they don't deserve that, but honestly, that's, that's not the worst part.
part of obesity. You know, like, I received literally thousands of letters every year from people begging for help. The people that have they hit the rock bottom and they're begging for help. And most of these individuals, they found themselves in such a place of, of despair and, and darkness and self-hatred. That's what we have truly experienced is, is the worst part of, of obesity. But the thing is, it, it isn't isolated with just obesity. And, um, and, and this is actually where I want to tell you about my experience. And, uh, and so I, I'm just going to speak very candidly with you here. Um, you know, whether you're struggling with obesity, or whether it's alcohol, whether it's work, whether it's drugs, whatever it is, many of us, in some point in our life, we find ourselves in that dark place, in that place of self hatred And that's actually where, and I don't know if many people know about my story, um, that's why I know nothing of what it's like to be obese, because I actually came from the opposite end of the spectrum. I was I hated school growing up, and I was always struggling with being bullied because of my size. Um, five years ago, I was looking at my car, and I was heavily addicted to painkillers. And, and a lot of people did.